Uh, let's move uh, on and talk a little bit about banks this morning and results from the latest round of government stress tests. Leslie Picker joins us with the latest. Leslie. Hey, Andrew, yeah, despite a tougher stress test than last year, all 33 large banks demonstrated capital levels well above the Fed's threshold. It didn't come as a surprise that the banking system is healthy and well capitalized at this stage, but the amount of excess capital has deteriorated. This is important, and given the uncertain macro backdrop, analysts have muted expectations for capital return announcements on the heels of yesterday's results. Firms are expected, although not required, to disclose their buyback and dividend plans on Monday after market. Analysts at Goldman Sachs are forecasting a 77 percent average payout this year. That's down six percentage points from 2021 levels. The firm says many of the largest banks, including Wells Fargo, Citi, and Bank of America, will have lower payouts this year. Jeffrey's analysts have a slightly higher payout ratio expectation than Goldman, but said in a recent note that there could be downward adjustments if the, quote, macro environment were to sour and banks took a more defensive stance in their capital. So this is the time where investors will be parsing through Jamie Dimon's purported economic hurricane comments versus James Gorman's kind of more nonchalant posture to size up how conservative each firm will be with their balance sheets and what that means for capital distribution. Andrew?